Hey guys, welcome back to Vivant with Dana. And I know, I know, I know it's been a while, but we're here. We made it from summer, from spring, and now we're here in the fall. We've made it here, and right now it's a time of tasty treats, warm things to keep us, you know, entertained and comfortable. And sometimes it's, <laughs> you just don't want to go anywhere. So that's what this video is. This video is about bringing you tasty treats right straight to your mail without having to go to the grocery store. And it's always nice to get things right. So if you agree with me about getting things and getting special tasty treats in the mail, please put in the comments box and let's start this conversation because fall is here and there's nothing better than to get a nice gift for the ones that you love, especially in the holiday season. Especially if it's at a bargain, you definitely want that. So that's what today's video is about. So today we're going to be featuring something that you could eat and as well as something that you could drink. And the food that we're going to be showing is from Cakery 26 and it came straight from Deltona, Florida. Woo -hoo! I used to live in Florida. I used to live in Orlando actually. So it's always nice to get something from Florida and to be able to experience that beautiful culture. Okay, so let's get started. And this is the product. Yay! This is the product, and as you can see, these are jars. But what you don't know is that there's cake in the jar. So yes, these are jar cakes, and you can refrigerate them for seven days, and you could even have it for up to a year if you freeze it. But of course, of course, you have to defrost it before you eat it. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. But these are absolutely delicious and it was pretty hard for me not to really gobble them up because I loved it so much so I saved some in there I've saved some in the jars just so you can see me eat it so you could see it as well as they even have a coffee yes indeed they have a coffee that's called velvet soul and it's my favorite and it's a hundred percent Arabica bean coffee and it's it's not bitter it's smooth and let's just say if you add your creamer to the coffee you don't need to add much because the coffee itself is not too too like dark 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 so it's it's like a light version to your average you know bean coffee so that's what I love about it so let's get started I know you're probably tired of me talking so let's just hop into it shall we okay so I like to do the vanilla, but I want to go straight to the chocolate first. <laughs> yes, so this is the chocolate. This is the signature chocolate. And of course, this is the classic vanilla, but we'll get to that last. And it comes in a jar, so it's very cute. And the good thing about this is you can actually keep the jars even after it's done. I kind of like to do that for either DIY projects to keep the jar, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> because I love collectibles and doing something really cool. So the first spoon, you see, this is it. Mmm. As I always say, I wish cameras had like senses as a human or a nose because this smells amazing. See, this is it. Mmm. 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 I could just stay here all day. This is amazing. It brings back the first day that I tasted it. <clears throat> and what I love about it is the cake is moist itself. And it's not, you know, too chocolatey. And it tastes very organic and just homemade. And the icing is not too sweet. So the sweetness of both the cake and the icing balances out each other. Because usually sometimes the icing is so overpowering than the cake, and that's never a good thing. So I love that it has this. Mm, okay. I'm done with the chocolate. Even though I hate to be done with the chocolate, we have to move on. And now straight to the vanilla. Now mind you, the vanilla flavor... It's just the same as the chocolate in terms of the texture of the cake. And if you could see, that's what it looks like. 
Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Reminds me. Mmm. Of the homemade cakes that my mom makes sometimes. This is phenomenal. <laughs> I just finished it. So let's just say, besides the chocolate, I definitely dug into the vanilla. So I'm pretty bummed that I finished that one. But as I was talking about in the um, beginning, about the Velvet Soul Coffee, this is it. See? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, and if I could, def and, I, eh. and if I could be desperately honest, for the past two years, I've been a coffee drinker. Now, when I was younger, I always thought the coffee was for grown-ups. But when I got older, that's when I became a coffee drinker. And this coffee is better than the coffee that I have now. And it's the espresso. It's more bitter. It's more stronger. And it doesn't go well with my caramel creamer. <clears throat> so, since I added my caramel creamer and, of course, sugar with the um, Velvet Soul Coffee, it's more smoother, it goes down well, and it actually resembles Starbucks or Fresh Coffee House Coffee. So I feel very, you know, coffee house-like. You know, surrounded by nature, I feel so earthy today. So I'm loving this feeling right now. And the good thing about this is, is that their products are completely, completely, completely um, not expensive. You know, it doesn't cost much. I'll definitely put the links of everything that you need to know about Cakery 26 in the description box. Because this company is so inspirational, especially with the owner that's behind it. It's so homey and it's very, you know... It's very encouraging too. So just know that when you get your cake, get your coffee, you're going to be putting your money in a company that is very faith oriented. But in terms of, you know, empowering and encouraging you when you eat your food. So that's what I love. And it's like a family. That's how I feel. You know, so that's what I love about this. And I love that it just contains ingredients that you can eat, you know. So I love that it's not, you know, ingredients that has so many different words that you just can't pronounce. The words are very self-explanatory. And let me read off the ingredients for you. And it's wheat flour. And that's a good thing because usually sometimes you use the unbleached white flour. You have sugar, oil, eggs, buttermilk, water, vanilla extract, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and vinegar. And there you have it. So please, please, please go to cakery26.com to experience what I'm experiencing. And if you're a fellow coffee drinker like me, you know, you can always switch it up. Sometimes you may want it bitter, sometimes you may want it smooth. So just try to switch it up. And just know that... You know, if you live in Florida and you heard about Hurricane Matthew, that everything is going to be okay. Especially since Cakery 26 is in Deltona. I'm definitely praying for all of you there. And I hope that everything will be well and that you guys could continue to make cakes and to make people happy. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Because it's fall, and before you know, winter is coming, so we're going to be doing nature walks, things to really make life nature-y and earthy. <laughs> so we're just going to bring back the nature and the beauty that life can bring. So that's what we're going to do together. And please stay tuned for more. And me and my coffee will be heading out. So I'll see you guys soon. Comment, like, share, subscribe, tell everyone about how... You know, even in the midst of, you know, the hurricane and everything, you could still live and be happy. So spread love, joy, and subscriptions, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to love and everything else. So stay tuned to more Vivant with Dana's. And thank you, Cakery26, for these amazing treats. And I hope that everyone in Florida will be okay, guys. So stay safe, stay blessed, and come back to me once again. Goodbye, guys.